Let's prove the following. We will start from the left hand side of a given trigonometric expression. On the left hand side, we have square root of 1 minus sine theta divided by 1 plus sine theta. But we can also rewrite it as square root of 1 minus sine theta divided by square root of 1 plus sine theta. Similarly, for the second term, we can rewrite it as square root of 1 plus sine theta divided by square root of 1 minus sine theta. Now we're going to combine the two terms. So our common denominator will be square root of 1 plus sine theta multiplied to square root of 1 minus sine theta. In the numerator, we have square root of 1 minus sine theta whole squared added to square root of 1 plus sine theta whole squared. So let's further simplify square root of 1 minus sine theta whole squared that will be 1 minus sine theta plus square root of 1 plus sine theta whole squared will be positive 1 plus sine theta divided by square root of 1 so we can combine the two denominators so we have 1 plus sine theta multiplied to 1 minus sine theta now negative sine theta and positive sine theta cancels out so in the numerator we're going to have 2 divided by underneath the square root we're going to have 1 minus sine squared theta now we know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta this is a standard identity with a value of 1 so 1 minus sine squared theta this will be equals to cosine squared theta and when we take the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta this would be equals to cosine theta so our result will be 2 over cosine theta. Now, this is not exactly the expression on the right hand side. We uh, we don't have a negative sign here, but here is a condition that's given here that the theta lies between pi and uh, pi over 2 and pi. So, theta lying between pi and pi over 2, meaning we are in the second quadrant. So, in the second quadrant, only the sine function is positive. Everything else is negative. So, that means this cosine function is going to be negative. So therefore, we have finally obtained that our value is negative 2 over cosine theta, which is the expression on the right hand side. And we have successfully shown that the left hand side is equals to negative 2 over cosine theta whenever theta is in the second quadrant. Hence proved.